sign back in again. Didn't follow my own advice about the admin thing here. Okay, so we now have a hidden group or a hidden forum. Now let's go into groups. And we can have the group name uh, Silver Members. And then you could put a description here again if you want. Group moderator. You could actually assign somebody else to be a moderator of this group as you want. Where there's an open group, closed group, or hidden group. In their case, we're going to make it a closed group. And we'll submit that. No. Right. So find a username. Okay, we could have just keyed that in as well. Okay, let's submit that now. All right, so now we can go down and go to our permissions. These are group permissions. Now we can give access at the group level to our areas on our farm. So let's make this that anybody in the silver group is allowed silver level download access and we'll submit that. And now anybody that's a member of the silver group will be able to look in there. Now let's go back and log out again just to see how this works. Okay, now as you see, that isn't even showing here. Now we'll log in with a regular user account. Again, you can't see it because we are not a member. If we click on groups, okay, there's silver members. It says this is a closed group, no more users accepted. Okay, so in other words, if you set it as a closed group, nobody else can get into it. You can also set it as a hidden group, which will hide it from view, and you set it as an open group, which anybody can join. So we'll go and create an open group now. Now these groups will not be good if you want to charge for them since anybody can actually join these groups and get into the content. You could probably do this with a small programming modification, but in our case we wouldn't want to use it for that. You can just use the method that I showed you earlier. So now let's log out and go back to the admin area. And log in. And then let's just go back to our groups and manage this and just set this to an open group. And now we will just log out again. Now we'll go back to the home page. And we'll log out. We'll log in as a regular user. Okay, so again, we can't see this yet. However, if we go to user groups now, and we view the information, 
and you can just click join the group okay so now we see that their membership is pending so let's go back in as a moderator now okay now that we're in we'll go down to group permissions and we'll see here that pending members Tim J Carter now you don't actually have to come in here the moderator of the group which may be you or somewhere someone else can just go to their on the main page and they can just go into user groups and view information this is also you can change the type of group in here and you see down here pending members and then you can just approve so just approve selected and now you'll see that the in group members is Tim J Carter and that's how you get somebody into a group so let's log out now and log back in with the general username and you'll see that he now has access to the silver level downloads because he's a member of that group that is how you can control the level of access to your users. If he goes into user groups now, he can see that he's a member of the user group and he can unsubscribe himself here. All right, we'll just go over the last couple of options here. And a couple more options we'll just go over quickly back up your database just allows you to back the database up onto your own computer so that if you have to restore it you can easily do that mass email just means that you can send an email to all the users in your group if you backed up your database you can restore it here smileys this just shows you the symbols that they use and you can actually edit or control whether they can use smileys you can also import them here word sensors if you want to put some bad words in here that people aren't allowed to use you put them in here they won't allow them styles admin this is just where you can change a style sheet you can create a style won't go into that that's kind of an advanced option band control this just allows you to ban by username or IP address host names email addresses so if you want to ban somebody from entering your forum you can do that here disallow names if you want certain usernames not to be allowed in here you can put them here you can use wildcards in those as well and then ranks you can give special rankings to people right now all that's in here is a system moderator but you can add a ranking called um, you can have a ranking system like superstar and then the number of posts to get that you know 150 and then you can give a certain image if you want a path to an image if you want them to have a certain image beside their rank uh, you could upload an image to the root directly where your PHP BB is and just put the image name here so you can just set up a hierarchy here of special permissions that that they have depending on on their number of posts and that's it that's how you use PHP BB you can use it 
as a content management forum or you can just use it as a membership forum or a combination thereof.